Well, I came downstairs this morning, and this is what I found in the basement. Now, man, this really doesn't look right. I'm no florologist or anything, but I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to happen. Ah, uh, gotta go see if I can find some spackle or something around here. Hey, it's Dave Corboy from Cormerica.com, and this video is a quick overview of the basement hole project I did to learn a few things about Blender. The project began with this video of the floor in my basement. As you can see, there's no hole. The video became the clean plate, on top of which I added the computer-generated effect of the broken concrete floor. Most any graphic software can make it pretty easy to put a 3D object into your scene, but if the camera is moving, the process isn't so simple. The effect won't look real unless you capture the 3D object from the same perspective as the real camera when it originally moved through the scene. So the key element of this project was camera tracking, computing the location and orientation of the physical camera in 3D space so that we can recreate that camera inside the computer and then add computer-generated objects to our scene. The trick is that we have to figure out the camera movement using only the frames of the video. Creating a virtual camera solution requires that we first identify certain representative points in the scene. I put some tiny stickers on the wall and scattered some objects on the floor to make this easier for the test. Based on the way these points move over time, the computer can calculate where the camera actually was as it captured the scene. In this screen, we help Blender identify each of the reference points. On the right is the close-up image of the point we're currently working on. You can see the completed tracks of the reference points showing where they have been in red and where they're going in blue. This helps ensure the tracks are smooth and makes it easier to see any errors. I shot the original video on an iPhone 5, and using the specs for the iPhone lens and camera, along with the object tracking data, Blender can now calculate where the camera was in 3D space as I captured the original basement video. Once the solution is computed, we have a virtual 3D set and a camera that matches the movements of the physical camera. With just this, we can already do some cool things. Here I added a small TARDIS from the TV show Doctor Who by simply dropping the object into the scene and capturing it with our new virtual camera. Now that we're compositing the match 3D perspective of the scene over the top of the original frames, the object sticks to the background and looks like it's actually there. But creating the hole was a bit more complicated. It started with this artificial floor slab, just a simple box textured with the floor image from the first frame of the video projected across its surface. Much like the TARDIS, it can now sit inside the scene and appear sort of like it was there in the original video. In preparation for the next step, I had also textured and bump mapped the edges of the slab with a concrete material so that this appearance will carry through as we crack the slab into pieces. Blender includes a very useful plugin called Cell Fracture that will break apart a solid in a controlled way, most importantly, retaining or interpolating the UV mapping of the textures through the fractured pieces. This means that even though the pieces are now broken apart, they still retain the color and texture of the original solid object, both on the top floor surface as well as inside, along the cracks. So after using Fracture to create the broken pieces, I then spent some time tweaking the arrangement of the pieces into what you see here. To complete the broken floor, I removed the unbroken parts from the model, and this is the result, rendered with the floor and edge textures, as captured by our moving virtual camera. This transparent overlay can now be applied over the original video frames, just like the TARDIS. Again, the match camera perspective gives the illusion that the broken floor is part of the scene. For the final version, I added the dirt walls to the hole to complete the effect. Hope you enjoyed this video on my basement hole project. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Corboy, and I hope you'll come check out our other effects projects over at Cormerica.com.